Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024, the Memorial of St. John Paul II. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who are rich in mercy, and who willed that St. John Paul II should preside as Pope over your universal Church. Grant, we pray, that instructed by his teaching, we may open our hearts to the saving grace of Christ, the sole Redeemer of mankind, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 12, Verses 35 through 38. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Gird your loins and light your lamps, and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will gird himself have them recline at table, and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection Today we celebrate the memorial of St. John Paul II, a man who embodied the spirit of readiness and faithfulness that we read about in today's Gospel. St. John Paul II was someone who lived with his lamp lit, always vigilant and attentive to the needs of the Church and the world around him. He was always ready to serve. One of his most famous quotes captures this spirit of readiness when he said, Do not be afraid. Open wide the doors for Christ. This was really his rallying cry, his constant invitation to the church and to the whole world. And it's exactly what today's gospel calls us to do, to not be afraid, to stay awake and be ready to open the doors of our hearts to Jesus and to live in a way that reflects his presence every single day. St. John Paul II lived this out in an extraordinary way. He was not only a great leader and a brilliant theologian, he was also a man of deep prayer, always attuned to God's voice and ready to act when he was called upon. His life was one of vigilance. He was prepared to face suffering, opposition, and hardship, but he never wavered in his commitment to Christ and his church. Even in his later years when his body was weakened by illness, his spirit remained strong and ready for whatever God asked of him. In today's world, it's easy to get distracted, to become complacent, and to lose sight of what really matters. We might think we have plenty of time to get serious about our faith later, or we might assume that we'll have other opportunities down the road to make changes in our life. But Jesus reminds us in today's Gospel that we don't know when the Master will return for us. He could come at any moment, and the question is, will we be ready? Being ready doesn't mean living in fear or anxiety. It means living with purpose. It means keeping our lamps lit with the light of faith, staying connected to Jesus through prayer, and being faithful to what he asks of us. It means living with our hearts wide open to God's love and mercy, just like St. John Paul II did. So what does this look like for us practically? Well, it could mean spending more time in prayer, making sure we're regularly receiving the sacraments, or reaching out to serve others in our community. It could mean letting go of some of those distractions that pull us away from God and reordering our priorities so that we're living for the things that matter most, faith, love, and service. So as we reflect on this gospel and the life of St. John Paul II, let's ask for the grace to live with that same readiness and openness, trusting that when we live for Christ, we have nothing to fear. And so today, let's pray, 
that we will keep our lamps lit, our hearts open, and our lives ready for the moment that the Master comes, knowing that the reward of faithfulness is not only eternal life, but the joy of knowing that we have lived fully for the one who loves us. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.